Back in the day, John James Audubon was accustomed to getting close looks at birds with his double-barreled binoculars. He got the breeding male American goldfinch right, as did anyone who sees the bold black and yellow contrasts, but he missed the female's markings by a considerable margin. Or was it a winter male? Or some other bird altogether? American goldfinch is still a bird of mystery. The adult male in breeding garb is unmistakable, but other plumages are more confusing. That's because the gaudy breeding male trades his colors in fall for a camo makeover to help him survive in a predatory world. In fact, he becomes all but identical to the female, save for his inky black wings and tail. Those feathers show a dull finish on the female. When Audubon was blasting birds by the bushel, some thought the winter and summer goldfinches were different birds. But the goldfinch story is more complicated than alternate seasonal plumages, because there are other kinds of goldfinches. The great American West is home to the American goldfinch plus the lesser goldfinch. And what about Lawrence's goldfinch, the sedentary study in grays and yellows of Arizona's mesquite and catclaw country? And now we have the European goldfinch, well established as a breeder in the western Great Lakes region and beyond. Then there are birds called by other names, such as redpole and siskin, that are taxonomically no less goldfinches than those with gold in their names. Indeed, one could wake up in cold sweats trying to comprehend the goldfinch complex.